Hello everyone, welcome to the stream. Welcome back for Satisfactory Update 6, our mega base that is nearly done. Uh, we have our one last major task to finish up here. And uh, a Thursday night that is an early night, as, as usual on Thursdays. So we are starting early tonight, which is good, nine or so minutes early. And that's be partially because I'm ready early. And partially because we have to end at 11, uh, so an hour and a half and a little bit more. Uh, hello, Addicted, and hello, Joe. Welcome. Welcome, guys, to the stream. Thanks for claiming first, Joe. Uh, hydrate for Addicted. And a dad joke for Addicted. Where do boats go when they're sick? To the dock. And straw hat for addicted. All right. Maybe. There we go. Almost. Stupid headphone thing. Okay, there we go. All right. So uh, we are going to jump into the game and we'll get started right away. That way we don't waste any more time than I already have. Uh, because we have a lot to do. So last time we uh, started arranging this, uh, we figured out how many of everything we needed and kind of how we wanted to lay it out. We brought in or set up all of our um, our uh, drone port hubs here, or drone hubs here, so we have, no, drone ports, yeah. All of our drone ports here, so we have every material we need for this last factory being brought in. Our, and our goal is to make these four items here at uh, one one thousandth per minute. So uh, it'll take a thousand minutes to, to make all everything we need we're making four of these per minute four of these per minute one of these per minute one of those per minute and that means it'll take a thousand minutes or almost 17 hours uh to run which is going to be all done i think um offline um we're going to get hopefully get this all set up today and then um what we'll probably do is depending on how fast i can get that done offline because i want to only do it when i can monitor it um is we will take um we will we will uh i will take those those 16 and two-thirds to 17 hours of time offline when i can monitor it and we will uh we will play something else probably on saturday and possibly on next tuesday as well that's going to be age of empires three teddy one six two six welcome thank you for the follow um and then we're going to uh, come back after one or two streams away and uh, get the last of those items brought in and then um, uh, probably just do some kind of maintenance-y, clean-up-y kind of work for the for the final bit of whatever stream we come back in. It, I might just make it like next Thursday because it's a shorter stream. Um as is to be that thing uh so like we'll wait a week till we come back but i'm just gonna see how how long it takes and what makes sense but um i think uh we'll just do uh some major vampires until then if there's really not anything that does spell smart if there's not anything to do um really that we want to do after we complete the elevator uh phase four then we could always just switch back into age of empires three um we do have i think uh, there's definitely one new set of, um, not campaign, but it's like a set, a set of scenarios. You didn't hear it. Why me? Why me? It's probably too close for you, Joe. Let me see what I can do here. Okay, yeah, it didn't trigger. Um, what the heck? This is probably still left over from the sound issues from like two weeks ago. Yeah, let's push these into, I think it's this channel. See. There it was. I know I saw it that time. SMRT. That spells smart. Alright, I believe I saw those light up the uh 
lit up the board this time. So I believe that you heard them. Okay, good. All right, so uh, we hooked up this array, this array here, which is making... What is this making? Magnetic field generators. That's the second item. Each one of these manufacturers makes makes one per minute. So we have four of them, and then we pass into it uh, two manufacturers worth of versatile frameworks. And then that's taking in batteries and some other things here that I don't remember without looking. Um, let's see. Do, do, do. Batteries, ECRs. Uh, steel beams and um, modular frameworks and then back here we set this one up after that uh, we're making adaptive control units here no we're making or we didn't finish we didn't finish setting this one up but assembly director systems here we also need four of those these make 0.75 so we have one two three four five and a third I believe on the last one or on the first one on the first one. Okay. And then those are being fed by eight of these. Uh, um, whatever it was that I pointed out. Uh, eight of those that I pointed at that, that are the um, automated wiring. And then those are being fed in by these. Uh, one, two, three areas here. And they're also being fed by this, which is high-speed connectors, which are being fed by three more well the, the third one is shared but uh, all of those there and we also have these three down here that are feeding into i think yeah those two plus this one so we have to hook this last line up yet and then that'll be the second item done and then we have the last two items which are the rockets and the um the the spaghetti ones the pasta ones nuclear pasta that's what they're called that we have to do yet so we'll we'll get those started but we need to finish these first uh we're gonna come this way so let's find our position here and then let's do a uh, splitter Ooh, is this actually gonna be this is gonna be too close we have to move these out this is gonna be slightly too close all right this will go here we need to have at least be that far away Plus the size of a lift. So we need to be out at least to here. Which I guess that would be a fine enough place. But we could always go out a little bit further. Yeah, let's just go out a little bit further. Let's go out starting right here. Oops, that's backward though. It's backward. There we go. Good thing we didn't uh, do power and everything yet. Smart. Uh, five more. And then the last one is at uh, a third speed. Uh, what were these things again? These ones. Uh, this one's at... Well, let's copy that first. Paste it. And then 0.25 here. This one... All right, so then these go here instead. Uh, we could bring, let's bring this one in on the, um, on the higher height, maybe. We could actually just put those on the floor. Yeah, let's just put all these on the... Put put this item on the floor. So we'll go there with those. Uh, six. Spacing of six. I don't know what the speed is on these, though. Eight times one. Eight. Eight. And then these are... Uh, f half that. So, yeah. Okay, we're good. We're good. And these ones can go here. Six of those. Space is six. Take those out too. And then this can go there. And then these... Don't actually need to be that far away. They could be enough closer if we wanted them to be. Let's put them right here. Eight of these. 
Hold, please, because I can't remember the exact spacing, but I think it's 14. Yes, it is. There we go. And then this will come out a bit. Is that right? That is right. Okay. Is that I... Oh, these are supposed to be mergers. Oopsie. No. Start right here. Oh, crap. Press the wrong button. That was only six. I need eight of these. Fourteen? There. Button, button, who's got the button? I don't. I don't at all. All right, and then we're going to take this out uh, this way. And we'll just do a little... Shenanigans here. Like that. And like this. And that should take care of the... Oh, not quite take care of these. Uh, bottom? Yeah. Alright. And that'll take care of that. Oops. Punch my mic stand. Uh, let's see, you're good now. You're all good. You're all good. Yep, I think we're good on that item. So let's come over here to this one now. This was the... Rockets. We only have one manufacturer making one per minute, but we only need a thousand. We talked about, you know, doubling or somehow multiplying this whole thing, but if we did that, uh, we'd end up pushing some or many of the factories scattered around the base to the point where we would need to uh, increase their production. And at this point, it, what are we at? 10 months into this save? 300 hours almost? Yeah. Um, no. Yeah, so much time and so little to do, right? I just don't... I don't know that I want to invest more than what we have invested in this save f at this point in my life. <laughs> uh, there's just so many games that I don't know that I want to do it. So uh, so this one here is getting fed by all three of these. We can go ahead and put that merger in. Uh, we should shift this around. It won't be an even 300 because it's going to have to run for 16... Um, 17 hours. Um, offline, but it'll be a good enough number that you'll be happy with it, I think. Let's see. One, two, three. Yeah, let's put this here. Actually, we don't even have to go that far away. Let's go, like, right there. Yep. I think that'll be good. Uh, this was thermal propulsion rockets. So modular engines are getting made in those uh, manufacturers behind us. Turbo motors, cooling systems, and fused modular frames being brought in the old-fashioned way. Uh, this can go in there. Uh, nope. Can I make this one closer so I don't have to do a bunch of other things? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. That makes that easy. Uh, and then the rest of these will come in... Uh, this way. And we don't necessarily even need to put splitters here. These could just be... Uh, turn-ins. Is this the right position? No, it is not. That makes it tougher, because they're going to have to be right here in the middle of this belt, I think. 
So we could push this back out another half of a... Uh... Yeah, let's push this back out. Why you no worka? Right there. Okay, try that again. These will need to be right here then. In this line. Yeah, that'll be better. Okay, so we'll bring three belts in from here. Um, one of them is the fuse modular frames, which have to be split to go to here. So I think that'll be the last one over here. So this will be copper powder in the first one, probably, because it's going to go in... Mm, no, actually. No, actually. Copper powder should be in the last one down there. Now, fuse modular frames could be right in here, maybe? Almost. Almost. Dang it. And that's just too much for a turn, isn't it? Yep, that's one too narrow for a turn. It would have to be here to make the turn. Make a full turn. So we'll put fuse modular frames here. Uh, let's take them up to... This height. And then we'll take uh, these ones to this height. And then we'll take the copper to that height. Um, these will come out and they'll split. Actually, they'll split right away. There. How many do we need of these? One here. And one here. Man, we're, we're overloading it. And I think this can just do something kind of similar. We'll do maybe like this. Ooh, I could have done that over there too. And like this. And then this will come out. Mm -hmm. Mm that. Yeah, I could have done all of these rotated. And then I can put that back closer. I'm doing it. You know, um, I heard that happens a lot. Um... And I'm by no means an expert. But I've heard that happens a lot with uh, former... Wait, is that a little off? Does this seem a little bit off alignment to you? It is. I guess we can't do that? Since when? Oh, it's because these are goofy. Manufacturers are goofy about this part. All right, then we're going to put it back. Um, I've heard that a lot from formerly about formerly married couples, that they get along better after they're divorced. Which is... It's just one of the things where I guess it just, you just can't... can't live with. I guess. Okay, and then this one's gonna go... Needs to go over to there. I think we'll come out straight. 
And then we can do here. No, you can live without, but you can just, you can't live with and you just get along without. Or you get along when you don't live with them anymore. Um, it's, I guess, you know, it's a, it's a sad state that, that has to be the way that it works, but, you know, that's the way that it works. We'll go up to height three in this one. And... Height four on this one. And then we'll just bust these items through, like, right here, I would say. Bust a move. And these are both going here. Uh, at... One turbo motor per minute. And three cooling systems per minute. And we're going to need to have an intermediary right here. It's kind of crazy, all this infrastructure for, you know, what ends up being a thousand turbo motors, a thousand, uh, you know, whatever else is. Um, 3,000 cooling systems. So we could just, you know, take from our mall or whatever and haul all this crap down here and hand feed it in. But where's the fun in that, you know? All right, so that'll take care of that particular thing. Uh, these are modular engines. They need motors, rubber, and smart plating. Smart plating is going to come from here. We have one, two, three, four, and we have four more items, so that's good. Uh, we can take... Let's see, one, two. I think we'll take these two items this way. Put them onto a. Actually, we can take all four items down this way. And then do a. Um, do this type of thing here. Uh, and then this one's going to take in. Did I line these up? I did. Here we go. There. Here. And here. And then they need two more items each. Yeah, motors and rubber. So I guess I should have shifted those over that way by a little bit more, but it's all right. We'll just do these like this. Not like that. Like this. I didn't look at the numbers though, as I should have. I didn't do this right either. Oh man, I'm doing this totally wrong. This goes here. Like that. Okay. Back to some semblance of sanity. Okay. Um, yeah, so this one... Auto saves. What's the speed on these, or what are the requirements on these? Uh, there's only two and a half of these, right? Yes. So we need to have like five each of rips and rotors. Yeah. And these are space, should be spaced at 14. They are indeed. Because they are lined up with those, which are spaced at 14. This comes out. Oh, one more of those. There. And then this goes three of those. Wow. Three of those, 14. This one, those. You love being sanely insane? Yeah, me too. Where's the fun in being actually sane? This. 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 You get the idea. 
And then I think we'll just bring them in like... Here? Well... Here? And then we'll take the other ones up from... Here. Up to this point. And we can do the same type of thing here. Three. At 14. And then... at 14. Exactly. I mean, if anybody can um, can tell whether a, an individual is sane or insane, uh, it should be Kaladarm, because it takes one to know one. Uh, these are, uh, let's see, 15 rubber times three, two and a half machines is going to be less than 40, so we're fine there, and uh, we're fine with motors, too. So, Mark 1's all the way. Belts and lifts. For the win. For the one. That was a fun little belt. Let's go to there. Let's come back this way. This way. Okay. And then, uh... Mm -hmm -hmm. You can do boop, boop, there. Right, is that you? Yes. Then this one here. Nope. 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 Crap. These need to be slightly over. In order to line up with that. Shoot. Exactly. Um, but let's keep that down at the lower height, I think. Anyway. And then we'll take this one down. Wonder if I do it this... Nope, it's gotta be higher than that. There. If I do it this way, what happens? Oh, it's off by one meter. Okay, what if we do it this way, then? And then we just do... Um, something... Something... Here. Almost. Here. That's actually kind of a good spot. So we'll just do it that way. Like that. Alright. And then this one we can do here. And this one we can do... Here. These are going to have to do the same kind of thing as this. In order to work. You don't need to go uphill. There you go. And then this one goes here. And that takes care of all of those. So finally, we just need to hook up copper powder here. And uh, whatever the other thing was here. Uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. Radio control units. Reminds you of your old friend Clippy. Oh, uh, this. Something about this does. Probably specifically like this shape here. Yeah, because uh, Clippy would be, what, something like
Something like that. Give or take. Probably would have brought that one down a little bit shorter. Is this one supposed to be longer? <laughs> I think the inner one's supposed to be longer. Oops, that one I wanted. Windows 98, yes. Uh, it's probably too much down. No, I think that's okay, actually. We'll come down to, like, here with it. Okay. That is a qualifier for a thumbnail image. Just gonna say. Nope. There you go. All clean. Clean. Okay, and then you get to go... I think I'm going to put you in a splitter even though we don't need it, just so that you're lined up with the same as the other one. And I apparently screwed that up. Height-wise, so it's a good thing we've... Splitter. Wait a minute. Merger, yeah. Doesn't matter. Now this goes here. This goes here. And you can go... Boom. 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 There we go. And then finally we need to take this one over to these guys here. Uh, does it matter? Do I care? Maybe I should have pulled this out further. I should have pulled this out further. Do I want to move this now? Yeah, we can move it. Vista was almost not bad by the time that it was replaced. Um, actually, though, this would just be wherever I want it to be, right? Mm. No, it needs to be like this. So it needs to actually come up further yet. Auto save. Yeah, I have barely used 11. I haven't upgraded myself yet. Um... So I don't really have any real feedback. Uh, the most I used it was my um, my mom got a new laptop, so I um, kind of did some setup for her on that. Actually, maybe I should go out even further to line these up with those. Yeah, let's do that instead. Stop changing your mind, Wally. This goes here, then. Then this will go here then although we need to take that one out because I'm going to have to do no I'm not going to do it that way there you go uh, so I keep since I keep changing my mind I think I'm just going to put this back where I had it to begin with uh, here redo these guys Oops. And just stop horsing around. This was uh, modular pressure for conversion cube things. Yep. And we're just going to come out like this. Go toot toot like that. And into that one. And then that can split that way. And then we can do this down here. Like 
like this. This one goes here. You upgraded 11 to 11 on your shoot ming to shoot. Reminds me too much of the MacBook laptops used in shoot shoot and not in a good way. Yeah, I can uh, I can believe it. Uh, how fast is that belt supposed to go? That's for the um, copper powder. These have 200 on it, so that'd be a Mark III belt going into Mark II lifts. There. And then this will come back from over here someplace, uh, which means you need to be a Mark three lift as well and then let's do maybe here-ish we don't actually have to go with that high do we we need to go higher than crap crap we don't have to go this high first off we only need to go this high. And then I did the wrong thing again. But I need to make an adjustment over here. This needs to go up by one more level. Or it won't work. There. Because of that belt. It's already on two stackers, and it would need to be up on a third. So let's take this uh, this far. If we can come all the way to here. Like this. And then we can do... This. I missed. And then you can go into that. Bingo. Okay, so that should take care of the last items. You're making one cube per minute because each of these, this needs a half of one per minute each. Yep. Okay, so next step would be to run power. I think I'm going to start with running power to all the uh, drone ports so that we can start flying items in. No, we need to go do the copper powder first. Do I have everything I need to make that? Uh, we only needed, like, I think four constructors, but we're going to need to have a um, drone port. So we have everything we need for that. Okay, let's go flying fast. Over here. Uh, constructor. So we have two belts going up with ingots on them. This one and that one. I think we should put these up here. Yeah, if we can fit four constructors in across here, which I think we can, maybe we should just put these up here. Yes. Uh, let's make sure that it is indeed just four constructors, though. We need 200 copper powder. Each one of these makes 50. Perfect. Yeah, I need to finish the, this supply chain first. Uh, so we want to do a splitter. Actually, I'm going to do a smart splitter here. That goes out. This goes up. And then that was a Mark V. It was into there. Uh, and then you'll be um, left none. Right. K. 
copper ingot. Center overflow. And I think we'll put the other smart splitter here. Caledorn. Uh, let's see, this will be left. Copper ingots. Center, none. And right, overflow. How are you tonight, Caledorn? At this ungodly hour for you. That's good. Yeah, I can I can believe that. Okay, good. You all know Caladern, but he is a uh, team member of Red Circuit. Give him a follow if you haven't already. He has started streaming again, which I'm glad to see. Um, hopefully, we will see more of you soon. Off by one. Okay, that's fine. You'll go there. Let's put this down here. And then we'll go there. And then we'll have two over here as well. I was postponed next week. Yeah, I, f I figured as much. Um, rest is more important anyways. So do that to your heart's content. Uh, four of a space here. Um, each one of these is 300 per minute. Which is kind of ridiculous, if you ask me, but I guess when you're pulverizing copper, you can't be, um, can't be too thorough. Okay. And then, uh, let's see, that's a Mark IV lift. And then Mark V belts. Yum. And that's going to be wonky. Of course it is. Nope, too far. Right there. Alright, so now we just need a little bit of power here. Um, ugh. Back here, I guess. Auto save. Camera glitched out again with the black screen. Ugh. Probably a bug in the software, because like I said, I updated it, and it freaked, flaked out on me, so I'm hoping that it's just a bug, and uh, I can just update it at some point, and all will be well. Uh, where did I bring the power down to the factory from? Right here? Right here. Yeah, it just, like, flickers to black, like a black box around my head here, about yay big, where you can see my hands disappear. And yay big, where you can see my hand disappear up here. Uh, and then uh, it comes right back. All right, they are crushing it. All right, good. And then these need to go into a, um, whatchamacallit, thingamabob. Uh, we'll go here with it, maybe.
it's I mean it obviously is very it's gonna be very system heavy because it's using a lot of uh, you know resources to do what it's doing but I mean you can't get anything for free so you might as well enjoy what you have I guess I think I'm just gonna do it like that I think that's fine this needs to be um, copied from here. Powder. And this will be a total of 200. So that's a mark, um, mark two belt, mark three belt. I think we'll just keep it on the floor here. 50 each, so those are Mark 1s. And there's the Pink Nightmare. Uh, one, two, and go. And I didn't have this issue until I just started, I just had to re reinstall it, so I don't really know what's going on. Quadrotus is in my base? I doubt it. Pink Nightmare. Yeah. I did say that, didn't I? All right, so that should take care of those things. Let's uh, head back over there now. And then we can summon those along with anything else we need. Uh, so we're gonna need to have 20 uh, drones made. Of which I don't have anywhere near enough stuff. So we're gonna have to go get more stuff at some point. Um, but I'm gonna make the uh, a bunch of the um, the what call it here the miners maybe like ten of them he's hiding um I could but I don't want a whole drone full of them. I just want a couple of stacks. So I don't really understand people who like the summon the materials drones because it's too much. What is that? Um, okay, stop. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. It's 11. Who? That's too much like work. That's too much like work. Nope, too much like work. Actually, I don't even need to do this part yet. Uh, let's see. Now? Well, when I can just use the cheat flight we've been using now for ages and just fly up to my mall and gather everything I need in one trip and not have to set up a bunch of drone ports and do a bunch of reprogramming and filling and all that crap. Yeah. Oh, I never put these lists here. Oopsie. Yeah, it is cheating. And you can see how much I care. It's written all over my face. I've kind of evolved beyond the point of caring. Uh, we're nearing 300 hours on this save, and it's kind of time. 
in my opinion. That one's slightly off, but it's fine because the build's there. Raid? Able Globe, welcome. Thank you for the raid. Playing Satisfactory, what were you working on tonight? Oh, it's not that it's not fun, it's just that I'm just I'm getting to the end of my... I'm getting weary of it, I guess, maybe? I don't know. Early game setup? Nice. We are at the opposite end. We are at the end game. I'm working on a factory here to make the... Um, the... The uh, phase four of the space elevator. Uh, we have all the buildings we need. We have drone ports to fly everything in. So it's just a matter of hooking everything up and uh, firing it off. And letting it run for what will end up being mm, 16, almost 17 hours. Offline. For your viewers, uh, everything in my factory is made um, in uh, different factory buildings. Um, underneath all these train stations, or next to, in some cases, all these train stations, are factory buildings making one to five, depending on the type of item and how complex it is, uh, how many how many um, factory machines it takes to make, and things like that. Uh, we have all the factories scattered out here. And uh, we're making all the things in the game. And then each factory also has drone ports. Those drone ports send their items up to our mall, which is over here. Uh, beneath the mall is a uh, armory factory making all the uh, weaponry. Uh, sorry, the ammos. And uh, we have a nuclear power plant way over there in the swamp. We have a fuel power plant way over there on the coastline. And uh, old coal plants right here. Hey, Cyan Finn, welcome. Thanks. Yeah, it's uh, th almost 300 hours of, of work um, that I've put into this uh, over the last 10 months. All right, let's see. Who's next? What has ears but cannot hear? A cornfield. So, yeah, so we're here at the end. Um, it's just a, you know, a bit more, a bit more left. Um... I think that tonight will be the night that we um, we turn this on, this specific factory on. And then uh, it's going to run offline for 16 hours and 40 minutes. And then we'll come back um, after that amount of time. And uh, we will finish it up. Yeah, I could. We may do that uh, on the next, when we come back to this uh after the, you know, after we after we go f uh, for a while, um, and and tear that up, I may not even bother. To be honest with you, I don't even know. It needs to be that way. It's not really. I mean, the, as a matter of percentage of the power of the base. It's nothing now with the nuclear going. 15 nuclear reactors is like 30 gigawatts or something. So, posture check. Yeah, I need that. Thank you, Addicted. Spot. I need to get closer to the ground where I can see the lines. I 
That one's not going to be in the right spot, but it's fine. Actually, it could be. It could be. Power lines might be clipping, but... If Kalinor doesn't care, then I don't care. If Kalinor does care, then I don't care. Well, I guess this should actually be here. Technically. Alright, that should be all the drone parts wired up now. So now we just need to do all the naming and then the drone placing. This one's already named. Uh, this one is... ECRs. Totally not clipping. Totally not. Uh, this one and this one are modular frames and steel beams. No, I'm not trying to trigger the collective us. Just one. Just one person. Okay. Under the frames and steel beams, and then we come over here. And these first two are the two items for the um, these quick wire and silica, and then circuit boards is definitely got to be the third one. Uh, quick wire needs to be the first one. And then this one is <laughs> silica. And then finally we have a circuit board. And then after circuit boards, wait a minute. Uh, uh. Yeah. And then after circuit boards, we have the other two items for these which are stators and wire, uh, wire being on the, on this one. There we go. See. Si. Exactly. Um, and then these two go into this, so they are, wait a minute, all right, circuit boards, uh, heavy modular frames and computers, And then finally we have supercomputers on this one. And that should be this third one here. Yep, it is. There we go. Supercomputers for you. And over here, uh, this one and this one go into this, which is motors and rubber. Yep. Don't care which one goes where. Ping. 
And then the next two are these two, which are Rip and Rotor. Also don't care which one's which. Because they're at the same speed. Rotor. Okay, and then this last one here goes into this, which makes it Wait a minute, I'm missing one somewhere here. No, I'm not. Okay, no, I'm not. Uh, turbo motors and cooling systems? Is that what that was? Yep. Like the way my keyboard sounds, it's because I type really, really firmly. Um, this is copper powder, um, which is why I don't use a noisy keyboard because even with this, even with this, um, with this keyboard uh, being a soft key. It's, it's still super loud. I uh, see that's RCU and then the last one is FMF. RCU and FMF. All right, so uh, this needs to probably get powered up, I suppose, somehow. Uh, mine is a yeah, foot away, and it's behind on, on the dead side of the mic, and it's still, yeah, it's still loud. It It's just the way I type. All right, so this port gets its stuff from uh, NF, ECR, ECR. Engage. This port gets its stuff from... Hey, Nez, welcome. <laughs> uh, let's see, this goes here. RD steel beam. And this goes to MF. Uh, rip MF, MF. Oh yeah, I don't have the rubber keyboard, the key covers. Yes, Calendar, we know you. Uh, let's see, quick wire goes there. Silica goes there. Circuit board goes there. <laughs> Out of save. We're about ready to run out of stuff, I think. Uh, I'm not going to get wire from here. I think we should go to... Wait a minute. Oh, I didn't set wire up the other, other place. Well, I guess we are getting it from here, then. It'll be fine. Sure it will. This is stator.
tonight. HMF. Computer. Supercomputer. Make a few more, uh, what's my call it here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Technically, I need nine more. Oh, you left. Dang it. Uh, transportation. Drone port. Nope, not drone port. Drone. There we go. This one here. Uh, RM motor. This is a long flight. Rotor. Oh, yes, you're definitely predictable. Wait a minute. How do we not have. Oh, that's why. Somebody was lazy. William Calidor. You're predictable because I'm silly. <laughs> uh, this one. Yep. one. Oh, we're done. Oh, we're done. All right. Now we just need to finish looking up power to all these uh, factories. We should start back over here, probably. Probably. Just work our way around again. Yeah, like admitting to things like that. Oh boy. Why do we bring Calder in here? Because we get to hear those kinds of things, that's why. Uh, that's going to be a good shot right there. There. Uh, how do you know we didn't summon you? You think you came of your own volition. 
But in fact, we cast a... Uh, I'm just going to have to go here because of the belts. We, uh, we did a summoning spell. And you showed up. Simple as that. Yeah, I keep forgetting to um, to redeem that uh, that redeem. Just to be fun. Well, you make a good point, not a great point, but a good point. Um, but one could summon a. Uh, tentacled being in order to torture one said tentacled being. And you said it yourself before. Coming here is like torture. With my clipping wires and my spaghetti belts and things like that. Oh, that's it. Oh, darn. Okay, and we missed this one up here, so we need to do that yet. I wouldn't say we missed it. But you know what I mean. Oh, I never did the output for these either. Oh, yeah, I need to do that. I need to do that in all of them, actually. I didn't do any of the outputs into this base elevator, but... By the time all this gets started... We're going to have plenty of time to do all that, because, yeah. Okay, that should be that entire factory. They're still getting all their items, so it's going to take a little bit of time. Hey, look, here come some friends. Their drone friends. This one. This one. This one. Uh, power for these guys. Let's see here. Right here. Like that. You forgot he was Cthulhu's cousin? How could you forget? That's probably heresy right there. Another one has joined my side, Caladorn. There. And then this one here. <laughs> See? Told you. And there. And then this. Where do these things connect again? Oh, yeah, right there. Uh, this. Let's go right here. And then we'll go down. Auto save. Okay, let's see. Everybody smoking? One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three. Yeah, these aren't lit up yet, but they're just now getting their stuff, so that makes sense. 
these are struggling a little bit to get high-speed connectors. Not a surprise, since these are still trying to get all their stuff. It just kicked off. Yeah, circuits are going to hold us up for a little while here, I think. Eh, maybe not. Just got to kind of seed all the machines. Um... But yeah, high-speed connectors are going to be our problem child for a little while here. Um, and then these here, so we'll double-check all these later. Call those supercomputers. We have so much extra crap here that we could destroy if we want to. Uh, and then here we have three green lights, three green lights, and a yellow light. And it's just waiting on the modular engines that just take a little bit of time to get here from this. We're making two and a half... Modular engines per minute? Yep. Alright. So, that's the half. And then these... No power. Oh, I didn't hook the power? Okay, yeah. Oops. Oops, what's with the oops? There we go. Totally not clipping. Totally not clipping. Alright, you are going now. And then you just need to pass your goods along to these guys, which have to get loaded up anyway. Did I mark two of these? Yes, I did. It's kind of interesting that none of these parts require anything liquid. You would think at some point that they would require you to dump some kind of liquid into one of these. Just to be jerks. But they have not. Okay, the wire is just about ready to back up. The stators are having a heck of a time, and the high-speed connectors are having a heck of a time. It's just too long of a... Uh, uh, whatchamacallit? A um, manifold. It just takes time. Plus, I only did Mark 1 belts when I needed it, so that's part of the reason. Alright, so we need to bring three items in here. So I think we'll do like this. Like this. And like this. And then these are all misaligned, so I'm not even going to try too hard for this. But if we do... We do this, minus one, two, like this. We should be able to do something like this. It's a bit of start at the wrong spot. There, there, and there. Actually, they're not misaligned. They are misaligned. They're misaligned on the height. And I think they're misaligned this way as well. Like, we couldn't bring a belt straight out from these. They're slightly off. You can barely tell, but they're slightly off. Um, so, it is what it is. Um, can't, do, can't get away from it. Uh, this one's the first one. It can go up to this height. And then we can go over to here. And load its goodies. Uh, the second one... Ooh, those guys are firing up now. I just saw that. The second one is these ones. I think we'll start again at the bottom, or at the ground, I mean. The merger here. Mark one belts, please. And spacing of six. Six. 
These guys haven't even started yet. And this can go up to six meter height. Uh, we can have to turn it this way. And then I think we can probably bring it together with this one. At some point, maybe, maybe right here. This one I'll go up to... Where did that one at? Ah, uh, we'll move this one to eight. There. Oh, there's a started now. Good. I think this is probably too long. I was right. There. And there. Good. And this one comes across here. Definitely not clipping. And then these come this way. Too far. Way too far, Wally. Right there, I believe, is what will work. What will work? Huh? That can't be true. But it is. Why is that true? Whatever. Oh, I know why. I know why. I had it in the wrong spot. It's supposed to go here. Can't afford now. One thing we're not bringing in here is iron plate. All the things, and all the gin joints in all the world. Uh, let's see, the secondary supplies, like rods, would be good to get another stack of. Plus a bit. Uh, wire, we're good. Um, cable. Let's grab another stack and a bit of cable. That'll probably do us. TM. Yep. The train's grabbed from the top. Why can't I grab from wherever the heck I want? And I think this is plenty here. And the drone's grabbed from the top, too, I think. There. And there. And there. That's three of four. And then the fourth one will go in over here. And they'll have to be a little bit creative on this one, but hey, I have ideas. Uh, let's do larger, please. There. It's time. Dangerous, huh? Yep. And then this can go here. Did I miss that by one? I sure as the heck did. Those boxes fill up so fast, addicted, that it doesn't really matter. They're all connected via Mark V belt from the drone port, so... Um, yeah, it doesn't matter at all. Let 
they're full before they can even blink, hardly. Uh, let's change this, then. Somewhat. That. And some pasta. Blinking boxes. Look like a blooming Picasso. Alright, there we go. That should do it for this item, too. So, we now have all four items being fed in. Very, 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 very slowly. Wow. How did those get made so fast? That's crazy. Alright, well, whatever. We do have a bunch of random bits here. Um, I probably could just shred them. I don't think we really need them. Although we could just go put them in somewhere and make it make whatever that thing is go a little bit faster. Uh, one of these was the versatile frameworks, I think. Yep. Yeah. So you can have half of that stack and half of that stack. No, I lied. It's got to be fours. Okay. Well, then you can have uh, you can have one. You can have one. You can have one, and you can have one. And then we have... Two for you. Two for you. Two for you. Two for you. One for you, and one for you. And one of these two? How the heck did I have one of those? Whatever. Uh, and then we have modular engines. Those go over here. Yeah, and you know how clean they are right now? They're super clean right now. Because they fill up like that. Fill up that belt. You can do it. Alright, so that does it for this. I want to make sure everything's running. Yeah, these are still having problems getting automated wiring because they're having problems getting high-speed connectors, and that's just going to be a thing um, for a while until these start backing up, really. And they're already started, so we should be fine eventually. I mean, these are getting the occasional high-speed connector, at least. Um, so that's fine. Uh, these over here, though, are all working. These will work as they get the um, uh, adaptive control units. So that. These are good. And these are good. You're just waiting for another cube. And really, this is just down to uh, timing again. Oh, no, it's not. It's down to Wally didn't put a belt in. Ah, there you go. Have at it. Now you can kick that off. You got a few cubes in your buffer there. Oops. All right, that fixes that. It'll be fine. So I think what we're going to do is just wrap up a few minutes early tonight. Uh, there's not really anything else we can do at this point um, other than just uh, watch it go. Make things go... And, uh, and then we'll come back on uh, we'll come back on Saturday, I think, with Age of Empires three. 
um, playing some new scenarios. Uh, I'll let this run offline, but when I can monitor it, so it'll be a little bit intermittent. Um, depending upon, you know, what's going on IRL. Um, and then uh, we'll come back probably in two to three streams. I'm kind of targeting next Thursday, but we could come back sooner. Uh, it just depends on how much offline time I let this thing run. And if I find any problems with it as I'm letting it run. And we'll hopefully at that point have the last few items being added to the uh, elevator. Um, we can then disable all of the, uh, the drones. Uh, we could tear this all apart if you want. Uh, we could do some building completion like uh, walls and ceiling roofs completion if you want. Uh, let me know what you guys think you might want to do uh, to, to finish this series up. But I'm kind of at this point inclined to um, to just do the final step there. Uh, um, and, uh, you know, get get the get the final reward. Uh, maybe we could uh, buy a couple of the statues from the uh, the whatchamacallit as well. The awesome shop. You, you got an event in Warhammer 3, which has three choices, one of which is Heretic. Yeah, well, I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense. Um, I never did design a support method for the uh, for the rails, but I'm also not really, really bothered by it. So um, it's just space age materials, you know what I mean? Um, but so let me know if you guys what you guys think you might want to see as far as like polish on this safe. Otherwise, we're going to probably um, probably call it after we do the elevator and the awesome shop and things like that. And then if we just decide we don't have anything else we want to do um, after the end, then we could switch back into uh, Age of Empires and finish that up or or something else. So let's um, let's find ourselves a raid target and see where we want to go. Uh, let's see. I'm guessing Andrew is wrapping up soon. So if that's the case, where we should raid Rune Sun. Yeah, Andrew's been live for five hours. I'm guessing he's wrapping up soon. Let's go ahead and raid Rune Sun. Yeah. And uh, let's see what he's up to. It looks like he's up to nothing because Cat chat keeps deleting it all. I can imagine that Kaldorn is in on that activity, slightly. Um, but anyways, uh, hang out for the raid. Uh, say hello to Runesun. Check out his much, much bigger, much, much better factory than mine. Um, at least until Kaladorn runs a tornado and deletes the whole thing. And we'll be back again on Saturday with some Age of Empires 3. Taking a look at some of the some of the uh, new scenarios that have been added recently in the game. And uh, um, well, you're right. His factory is not larger, but because he started new recently. Yeah. Yeah, mine is larger. Yeah, his fact shooter. Yep. All right. Uh, so thanks again for the uh, for the raid, Abel Globe. Thanks for the follow. Uh, let's see, Teddy. And uh, oh, hey, Lana. I just saw you pop in, uh, pop into chat. Sorry, mine's cleaner than his. Well, that's because you keep deleting stuff. Uh, thanks for all the chats and the redeems and hanging out with me and, uh, and uh, you know, all the things. And we'll be back again uh, with Satisfactory in a, in a week, a couple of streams, um, and Age of Empires 3 on Saturday. Have a good night, everyone. Bye for now.